animals eat stuff. It's one of the main things they do. But not just food. Animals will eat anything at any time. Just ask anyone with a cat or a dog. Half your job as a pet owner is pulling things that shouldn't be eaten out of your silly animal's mouth. These are the 20 strangest things found inside pets. Number 20. A Towel As you carelessly throw your towel on the floor rather than in the washing basket, you might think you have only to worry about the wrath of your spouse or parent, who's absolutely at their wit's end when it comes to cleaning up after you. But as it turns out, you should pick your towel off the floor to prevent it from becoming your pet snake's main meal. In 2020, the owners of Monty, the jungle carpet python from New South Wales in Australia, had to race their pet snake to the small animal specialist hospital in Sydney after she ate something she shouldn't, an entire beach towel. Whether she was hungry, curious, or bored, Monty had managed to swallow the entire towel, and now she was paying the price. Think about how downright uncomfortable that would be. The vet team ended up having to put the snake under anesthesia so they could remove the towel, which took a grabbing tool, hands, and a lot of effort to pull it out. When you see the towel slowly removed from the snake, it's hard not to be shocked by how much space it took up. The entire snake was just one big beach towel. Fortunately, this story has a happy ending. Once the towel was removed, Monty was discharged from the hospital and was back to her happy self before long. Now, it's time for the odd topic. Snakes are not a common pet, but this guy, Brian Natick, loves a snake. He has several of them, and one of them started getting clingy, to put it lightly. Even when Brian was trying to enjoy a bath, the snake would slither on into the water and join him. But he didn't mind. In fact, Brian bathed with that snake every night until doctors showed him what was inside. You see, after several weeks of bathing with his snake, Brian started to ponder why the slippery little guy had developed this habit. It seemed like such an odd development, a peculiar change in character. So Brian took his snake to the vet and was shocked to learn that the snake had eaten a whole teddy bear. But it was what the doctor said next that shocked Brian to his very core. Eating the teddy bear was a clear sign that the snake was prepping himself for much larger meals, and the vet hypothesized that the snake had started joining Brian in the bath when he was wet and naked, aka easier to eat, as part of slowly prepping himself to one day eat Brian. This poor dude realized that what he mistook for a sign of affection was actually his pet planning to eat him. You can rest assured that Brian never shared a bath with his snake again. But hey, good news, Brian found his son's missing teddy. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag oddtopic. Number 19, a sock. For some reason, socks can be quite exciting for curious dogs. They sometimes see them as treats and won't just nibble on them, but also swallow them whole. That's what landed four-month-old puppy Thanos in the Cypher Animal Hospital in Cypress, Texas. Thanos' family had just adopted Thanos and quickly became attracted to their new family member. However, something wasn't right. He started vomiting and hadn't eaten for several days. He was also becoming lethargic and didn't want to play or do anything the average puppy wanted to do. Realizing this issue wouldn't solve itself, the family brought Thanos to see Dr. Michael Lavigny. Dr. Lavigny said that Thanos' symptoms could point to many different things, but they decided to do an x-ray to see if there were any obstructions. While it wasn't immediately apparent what was stuck in his intestine, it was clear that something was, and Dr. Lavigny had to operate to remove it. It was a sock! As it had passed through the intestines, Dr. Lavigny was able to remove it from his colon, allowing for a less complicated and more straightforward surgery that didn't involve having to cut open the stomach or intestines. Once the sock was removed, Thanos was on the road to recovery, and his family checked in three months later to let Dr. Lavigny know he was back to being a regular happy puppy once more. Number 18. Hairbands and Underwear 
If you own a Labrador or ever have, you just know how gluttonous they can be. But the black Labrador, Tiki, is perhaps a bit more greedy than most. Vets had to surgically remove 62 band-aids, 8 pairs of underwear, 4 elastic bands, and a single band-aid from her stomach. The good news is that she did survive. Tiki's owners had taken her to an animal hospital in Pennsylvania after she was experiencing vomiting and diarrhea. She had been prescribed medication for it, but that failed to take care of the problem. Realizing that it wasn't just a simple case of eating bad food, vets decided to dig a little deeper and order x-rays for Tiki. They were amazed by what they saw. The x-rays revealed a large mass, resulting in an exploratory surgery on Tiki. When they got in there, they found one hairband attached to another, which was attached to another, and so on. According to head vet technician Emily Cottle, the many pairs of underwear, hairbands, and elastic bands were a lot to be in a dog's stomach especially a dog of Tiki's size. After her surgery, Tiki made a full recovery. Have you liked this video and subscribed to our channel yet? You better do it now, or a random dog might break into your bedroom and steal your underwear. Number 17. 111 Pennies Jack Russell Terrier, Jack from Manhattan, could have paid a portion of his own vet bills with the number of pennies vets removed from his stomach. In a two-hour surgery, they removed 111 pennies from the 13-year-old stomach that could have him if they were left in there any longer. According to Jack's owner, Tim Kelleher, Jack will eat anything he can get into, including garbage. It just so happens that he knocked over some change when he was trying to open a bag of bagels. In his rush to lick up all the bagel crumbs, he licked up pennies at the same time. Tim had no idea that his dog had swallowed 111 pennies, but he soon noticed that Jack was not feeling well. He started vomiting, and Tim decided to take him to the vet when he began to vomit blood. The Blue Pearl Veterinary Partners vet team wanted to avoid potentially lethal doses of zinc affecting his liver and kidneys, so they removed five pennies at a time. Fortunately, all pennies were safely removed, and Jack made a full recovery. Tim told the vet team to keep the change. Number 16. Baby Bottle Teat Dogs love to use their mouths to investigate items, and it was this curiosity that landed Diesel, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, in a lot of trouble. He became gravely ill after swallowing a baby bottle teat whole. Diesel's owner, Paula Balint, noticed that Diesel was becoming lethargic and refusing his food. Not knowing what could be causing his strange behavior, he took him to the PDSA Pet Hospital in Swansea to find out what was wrong with her dog. After performing x-rays, they discovered a baby bottle teat. Paula cares for her grandson often, so Diesel must have found one of the bottles and taken the teat, not realizing it wasn't a delicious treat. The vet team was worried about the teat causing a fatal blockage, so they knew they had to act fast with emergency surgery. Fortunately, Diesel was able to receive the surgery he needed through the pet hospital's A&E service, which receives funding support from People's Postcode Lottery players. With the teat removed, Diesel was on the road to recovery and Paula was going to take extra special care not to leave items lying around for Diesel to taste test. Number 15. A Sewing Needle Dogs are generally far more curious than cats when it comes to eating things they shouldn't. But Spike, the four-month-old cat, is an exception to this rule. This curious kitty's owners took him to the Hallam AEC after seeing him vomiting up cotton thread. His owners weren't sure when he could have eaten the thread, but they wondered whether a 5.6 centimeter sewing needle might have been attached to it. It seems oddly coincidental that just two days before, Spike had another trip to the vet for neck pain after a rough play with the family puppy. He had been treated with an anti-inflammatory. During a physical exam, vets didn't notice anything unusual, and he was alert and lively with normal vitals. They also didn't see any cotton thread or a needle. However, he didn't like the vets touching his neck. Knowing that it was possible that Spike could have swallowed a sewing needle, they decided to admit him for x-rays. An x-ray off the chest and neck showed that he had swallowed a needle, and it was sitting behind his voice box. But getting that needle out proved tricky. When they anesthetized him, they used an endoscope to look around the 
stomach, airway, and esophagus, but couldn't find the needle. They had to x-ray Spike in multiple positions until they could find where the needle had gone. It had pushed through the esophagus's soft tissue, penetrating the neck muscles. Fortunately, the problem was solved quite quickly for Spike. The vets were able to remove the needle, solving his neck pain problems, and he was discharged with antibiotics and inflammatory medicine to relieve his pain and discomfort while he healed. Number 14. 187 pounds of plastic waste. Abandoned and stray animals don't have the luxury of being given food by an owner every day. They must seek it out themselves. It's this self-reliance that led to an abandoned bull in Maharashtra, now named Nandi, needing to have 187 pounds of plastic waste and trash removed from his stomach. Rescue Foundation found Nandi when he was barely able to move. He was on a road in Pimpri and had a bloated stomach. The strain he was under was so severe that his back was bent and he could barely breathe with the amount of pressure and weight on his lungs. There was no time to waste. Veterinarian surgeons had to help this bull. When he was operated on, veterinary surgeon Dr. Chetan Vanjari removed a whopping 187 pounds or 85 kilograms of plastic waste, glass, metal, metal pieces, and nails from his stomach. The surgery took two and a half hours, and experts believe Nandi had likely been eating non-food items like plastic for at least six or seven years. Thankfully, Nandi was doing okay after the surgery and was able to recover at rescue center. His appetite returned, he was no longer in pain, and his back was no longer bent. Number 13. 915 Coins the next time you think about throwing a coin into a body of water for good luck, think about the bad luck a sea creature could have if it swallows it. In 2017, a 25-year-old sea turtle from Thailand named Omsin had to undergo surgery after eating 915 coins thrown into her pool at a Bangkok conservation center by people wanting to enjoy good luck. Oddly, Omsin's name roughly translates to piggy bank in Thai, and that's basically what she ended up being. Omsin Omsin clearly couldn't differentiate between food and coins, and she swallowed the coins over a long period until she started being weighed down by them. Omsin was even finding it challenging to swim under the weight of them. Eventually, the 11 pounds or 5 kilograms of coins resulted in Omsin's shell cracking, and she had to undergo a 7 hour long surgery to have the coins removed. Many of them were corroded, and some of them came from foreign countries. At first, Omsin was doing well after the surgery, but it didn't stay that way for long. Sadly, she developed blood poisoning, slipped into a coma, and died. Number 12. Engagement Ring Tux, the French bulldog, is always getting into trouble. He's mischievous and eats everything in sight, and his owner, Jessica Farrar, is used to catching him eating and chewing unusual things. But in 2015, Tux developed an expensive appetite by eating Jessica's engagement ring. Jessica had been relaxing on her sofa at home when she realized she was no longer wearing her engagement ring. She had heard Tux eating something metal, but assumed it was her other dog's collar, since Tux liked to chew on it. After tearing the house apart and not finding the ring, Jessica came to the realization that it likely wasn't a metal collar Tux was chewing chewing on, it was her engagement ring, and he had likely swallowed it. Jessica took Tux to an animal clinic, where an x-ray confirmed her suspicions. Tux had, indeed, swallowed her ring, and it was inside her stomach. After weighing up whether they would let it pass or pull it out, they decided to use an endoscope and remove it through his mouth. Tux recovered from his surgery fine, and Jessica was thrilled to get her ring back. Tux seemed to love being the center of attention, since he was also the reason Jessica met her fiancé. Tux had gone missing, and her now fiancé had helped helped her look for him. Number 11. A Teddy Bear Snakes eat birds, eggs, invertebrae, reptiles, insects. The list goes on. Stuffed animals aren't typically on the menu, but they were for a python that decided to slither into a home in Australia on the Gold Coast. A family had noticed that a wild carpet python had entered their home, so they got themselves and their dogs to safety. But not everyone in the house got to safety. Sadly, the family dog's plush teddy bear, Ted, didn't make it, and the python ate him whole. The family decided to call reptile relocation and awareness, and Tony Harrison arrived to evict the snake from the premises. However, the family just so happened to mention that the snake had eaten a teddy bear. This piece of information helped save the snake's life 
safe because if that bear wasn't removed, the python would have likely met a tragic end. Tony took the snake to the vet lounge, a veterinary practice that takes care of reptiles. An x-ray revealed Ted tucked away in the snake's digestive system, and they performed emergency surgery to remove him. After a few washes, Ted was safely reunited with his family, while the snake was likely returned to the wild once it was well enough. Number 10. A Plastic Toy Plastic toys can be a lot of fun for cats, but Sir Lancelot the cat not only thought they were fun, but also delicious, and decided to swallow one. Sir Lancelot's family was going on vacation to New Brunswick to visit family, so they decided to put him and his brother, Romeo, into a cattery while they were away. Upon returning for them, the cattery staff said that Sir Lancelot wasn't eating and had been vomiting for at least the last one and a half days before they returned. Sir Lancelot's owner put the illness down to the stress of being in the cattery, but they decided to take him to the vet. The vet thought he was constipated and gave him fluids to help. When they saw him projectile vomit the fluids, they realized it was possibly more than that. With the vet clinic closing and lacking the necessary equipment to help Sir Lancelot, they ended up taking him to the Animal Emergency and Speciality Hospital. Here, Sir Lancelot underwent surgery to find out what was wrong with him. The vet tech said the surgery went well they found part of a part of a plastic toy, which was causing all the discomfort. After removing the toy, Sir Lancelot made a full recovery. Number 9. A Bath Plug the last thing you expect to find as the cause for an alligator's illness is a bath plug, but that's what vets at the Bronx Zoo found inside a five-foot alligator that came into their care. The five- or six-year-old American alligator was found at Prospect Park in 2023 by the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation. Now, you don't have to be a wildlife expert to know that alligators don't typically hang out there. They are not native to New York and prefer southern climates, but this particular particular alligator was found there in a pretty sorry state. She was emaciated, lethargic, and suffering from cold temperature exposure. She also weighed a mere 15 pounds, while most alligators her size should be upwards of 30 pounds. After giving her an x-ray, vet techs were stunned to discover that, at some stage, she had ingested a 4-inch wide bathtub plug. This led them to think someone had been keeping her as a pet, likely in their tub. By the time the alligator came into the care of the Bronx Zoo, she was so weak that she couldn't eat on her own. They had to tube feed her nutrients and medication and ensure she was stable before they could even think about surgery to remove the plug. According to the zoo, they would provide supportive care and determine the best steps based on how she responds to treatment. Sadly, her chances weren't good. While they tried their best to nurse her back to health, the alligator had chronic and severe weight loss, anemia, skin and intestine infections, and a chronic ulcer in her stomach caused by the bath plug. Sadly, she... Number 8. 8-inch kitchen knife Dogs swallow all kinds of things, but an 8-inch kitchen knife? Now that's unheard of. Three-month-old Staffordshire Bull Terrier Massey was as, curious as, was as curious as most puppies, but the circumstances surrounding how on earth she managed to swallow a large kitchen knife remain unknown. Her owner, Irene Paisley, noticed that her new puppy was choking and squeaking, and she presumed that Macy had accidentally swallowed one of her squeaky toys. However, no toy came out when she vomited, Macy continued choking. Irene knew it was something serious. By this point, blood was coming out of Macy's nose. Irene rushed Macy to an emergency out-of-hours vet in Glasgow, with x-rays revealing that Macy had swallowed a huge knife. The handle had passed through her stomach into the intestines, while the blade's tip remained in her gullet. Irene had no idea where Macy could have gotten a knife, and believed she might have stolen it from the dishwasher. However, it remains a mystery. After emergency surgery, vet were successfully able to remove the knife, and she was able to return home to recover. According to the vets, Macy had been lucky that she had swallowed the knife handle first, otherwise the blade could have pierced her organs, resulting in... Number 7. 114 pounds of rubbish we all know plastic is a huge problem for us and marine life, but did you know it can also be a huge problem for cows? One cow in India had to undergo surgery to remove a whopping 114 pounds or 52 kilograms from its stomach. Without surgery, the cow likely would have... The cow's owner, Muranathnam, 
had noticed that his cow had been experiencing problems urinating and passing stool. Her milk yield had also dropped considerably, and she had been kicking at her belly, almost like she was in pain. And it turns out that she was. Munarathnam decided to take his cow to the Tamil Nadu Veterinary and Animal Science University for diagnostics tests. They confirmed that the cow had something in her stomach and they would need to operate. During a five and a half hour surgery, vets removed 114 pounds of rubbish. They said that at least 75% of her digestive system had been plastic. Number six, barbecue tongs. Barbecue tongs are for holding food. They aren't food themselves, but someone needs to tell Winston the python that the two-year-old pet Woma python from Adelaide in South Australia had to undergo surgery to remove a pair of metal tongs after he swallowed them. According to reports, Winston's owner, Aaron Ruse, was feeding him a rat held by metal tongs when he latched onto the tongs and refused to let go. He likely thought the tongs formed part of the delicious rat meal. Aaron had no hope of freeing the tongs from the grasp of the snake, so he let Winston have them to play with. When he returned later, the tongs were gone, and Aaron knew in that moment that his pet snake had eaten them. The vets thought that Aaron meant that he had swallowed a small pair of tweezers, and they were shocked by what they saw on the x-ray. Sure enough, a giant pair of tongs was inside Winston. Removing tongs from the snake proved quite complicated, and they had to guess that they were lodged in the esophagus and stomach. After removing them, they stitched Winston up and sent him home to recover. He seemed completely normal at his follow-up appointments, and Aaron promised to keep tongs out of his diet from now on. Number 5. Rubber Duck in September 2021, Ronnie, the mischievous British bulldog, rushed past his owner, Joe Fisher from Nottingham, and raced into his daughter's bedroom. He picked up a rubber duck lying on his daughter's floor and ran back past Joe with it. Given the size of the duck, Joe never imagined that Ronnie would swallow it, but that's what he did. Joe was worried about the duck bloating Ronnie's airway, even though it didn't seem to bother him at all. To be on the safe side, he took Ronnie to the vet to have the duck removed. The x-rays showed the duck inside Ronnie quite clearly, and it was still sitting in his stomach. It hadn't quite made it into the intestine. Knowing there was a risk of it causing an obstruction, the vets decided that surgery might be necessary. However, they wanted to try the less invasive endoscopy first. They passed a camera down Ronnie's throat and used a hook-like tool to loop around the duck and pull it out. After around half an hour of playing hook a duck, they successfully grabbed onto it and pulled it out. Joe decided to keep the duck as a reminder of his furry friend's antics. You'll also be pleased to know that Ronnie made a full recovery. Number 4. 43 and a half socks Ask any dog what they like to eat, and most would say dog meat, biscuits, and bones. But ask a three-year-old Great Dane from Portland, Oregon, and he would say socks. After vomiting and retching, his owners took him to the vet, only for x-rays to reveal not just one sock in his stomach, but 43 and a half. Initial abdominal radiographs showed a large quantity of foreign material within a severely distended abdomen, and surgery was arranged to remove it. The vet team was shocked by what they saw. Dr. Ashley McGee from Dove Lewis Animal Hospital said they removed sock after sock after sock of all shapes and sizes. After submitting the dog's story to the veterinary practice news, they ate what competition? The animal hospital won third place. They put their $500 prize into their Velvet Assistance Fund, a fund set up for low-income families that encounter vet emergencies. Number 3. 16 Golf Balls Ben the Boxer wasn't feeling too well, and his owner, David Warren, just thought it was a coincidence that a pile of his own vomit had a golf ball in it, but it turned out to be no coincidence. Urgent surgery revealed that it wasn't the only golf ball Ben had eaten. Fifteen more of them were taking up a lot of precious space in his stomach. David noticed that Ben had been losing weight, and when he started vomiting, he decided to take him to the vet. An x-ray showed a cluster of balls in his stomach. 
Surgeons at Northwest Veterinary Specialists performed an endoscopy, which revealed the huge blockage caused by golf balls. Ben's stomach was completely full, and urgent surgery was required, so they could open up the stomach and remove them. Fortunately for Ben, the surgery was a success, and he was able to return home, where he started putting on weight again. David thinks Ben had been swallowing the balls on their morning walks, so he'll likely keep his eyes on their walking path a little more closely now. Number 2. Tinsel Cats love Christmas decorations, especially baubles. They love hitting them around the floor and taking chase. But one cat favored a different decoration even more, tinsel, and she made the wrong decision to eat five feet of it. When the cat's owner realized what was happening, she rushed her feline friend to the Animal Emergency Services Clinic in Underwood, near Brisbane. The vets had to use special equipment to remove the huge piece of silver tinsel through her mouth. Cats love shiny things, but this cat took that love to a new level. If you have a curious cat, consider placing a barrier around your Christmas tree to prevent something similar from happening to it. Number 1. A Black Pebble we love our pets. It doesn't matter whether they're cats, dogs, reptiles, or fish. We do everything we can to keep them happy and healthy. So when one fish owner noticed that her pet Ranchu goldfish was a bit off, she decided to take it to the vet to find out what was wrong. Conquer the goldfish was taken into the care of Brisbane Bird and Exotics Veterinary Services, where the cause of her illness was quickly discovered. Conquer had swallowed a sizable black pebble from its tank, and it wasn't able to expel it. While most goldfish pick up pebbles and expel them easily, this pebble was particularly large. The vets had to use anesthetic on Conker and used tiny tools to dislodge the stone. The procedure was a success, and Conker was able to return home with its owner. Minus $500. So remember folks, looks can be deceiving, especially when it comes to our furry friends' questionable taste buds. Imagine the horror of discovering your beloved pet munching on an 8-inch kitchen knife, mistaking it for a delectable delight. Let's just say that's a dining experience you'd never want to witness firsthand. But hey, we're curious creatures, aren't we? So spill the beans! Have your mischievous companions ever embarked in a gastronomic adventure of epic proportions? Share your tales of pet-induced panic in the comments below. We'd love to hear how you unraveled the mystery of what on earth did they eat this time? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. We'll see you next time then, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.